Uh, Cocker Food <laughs> Co-op time is Friday. Hello, Greg. Greg. Gregory James. Gregory James. I, yeah, I like that. <laughs> All right, yeah, I like that. Uh, Greg's back. So what's going on? Oh, a lot, lot, lots of things going the play, on. It's, the, uh, the place must be slammed. Oh, it is, it is. It's uh, very, very busy. Downtown's very, very busy. It yeah. is. It's, yeah. uh, it is. You know, back-to-back cars. I don't know yep. if I've ever seen uh, that much traffic, but the co-op is, uh, you know, and one of the things that's helping right now is we have a lot of uh, good local products, and, you know, uh, so a lot of people are in there buying some local soaps and um, different uh, even local candies and, and, right. and books. We've got uh, books uh, uh, there that uh, a lot of the guests on the show have written, so yep. a lot of... Yep. A lot of they're shopping around, and there's some nice uh, um, notebooks, even with uh, that were from recycled paper. So it's a good place to. Well, you well, wouldn't think uh, of the co-op as a place to go no, shopping you for your shopping, holiday gifts, yeah. but it's it, there's a lot to lot to see there. Well, we've talked about it uh, for a while. I mean, the whole farm to table thing has been taking off for years. People want to know where their food came from, but now that's morphed into I want to buy local products too, mm-hmm. not just consumables, but. And so it just seems to get bigger and bigger every year. Yeah. And we've talked a lot about uh, the benefits of membership, and actually a lot right. of people are buying memberships as, as gifts this year. So oh, that another makes sense. Great, idea. great idea. I mean, it's $100, which you can get back, and you can become an owner. Yeah, one time, and I think that's what people don't understand. 100 bucks, one time, fully refundable. So, you know, it's not uh, it's not an expense. It's it's an investment. It Do you get the I'm an owner shirt? Oh, I, I'll wear that next week. Okay, but it's a nice shirt. <laughs> I like that. I yeah. like. That. All right. So, what are we going to what are we going to chat about today? Well, today is an interesting topic, and it was actually Sarah that uh, several weeks ago when she was on the show, she said, "Oh, I'm you I'm, go, girl." She said, "Be careful what you say." <laughs> yeah. yeah. She, she said, uh, "Welcome to my world." <laughs> we were talking about our homes being under construction. She said, "Oh, I'm off grid," and I said, "Ooh, that's very interesting." And you know, everything I know about going off grid, I, I learned from Gilligan's Island. Um, and, and, and uh, you know, the three I, you hour build tour. a radio yeah. with a coconut. That's my point. I, okay. I, I, in listening to this, I'm, I'm, you know, uh, tips on what we have to do. But I'm thinking it's going to involve a lot of coconuts. The professor yeah, I mean, made everything true. with coconuts. So, do, you, do you sell them at the co-op? Seasonally, coconut. I think. Yeah. Okay, just checking. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Yeah, so, um, you know, it's... Just uh, a question. Yeah, yeah. You know, there's a certain allure going... And, and so sure what is, is it that... Why do people want to go off-grid? You know, I think there's different reasons. But, uh, you know, for me personally, it's it's uh, in major storms. I'd like to know that I'm self-sufficient. But, uh, you know, so I'd love to hear uh, what your, you know, Sarah, why you decided to go off-grid and what it's taking to do Well, so. for one, I do love coconuts. Oh, there you so, go. There you go. That's that's really and huge that's the reason. voice of Sarah Woods Kender. Clinical herbalist and Reiki master with over 10 years of experience as a herbal practitioner. Owns Sacred Tree Herbals in Meredith. Where is it in Meredith? On Main Street. On Main yeah. Street. Okay, Cam, you know where it is. Right? Now they're hustling and bustling. Big yep. yellow okay. building next to Hermit Woods there you across go. the street from the Lake Effect. Uh, yep. And and she offers classes on beginning and advanced herbalism, consults, custom formulations, and shamanic Reiki sessions. Visit her on the web at sacredtreeherbals.com or you can email Sarah at sarahsherbs.com or call the shop 279-2779 did right that. covered it yeah okay. good job so you off the grid we're off grid like want to be getting there we or... are we are okay we are we don't ha- we don't have any energy from the grid at all really so the reason why we wanted to do this was because we wanted freedom from the grid mm-hmm. um, we lived in a house before that you know the power went out we didn't have heat. We didn't right. have an oven. Didn't. We didn't. So we were just left with, you know, being cold mm-hmm. and hungry. Mm-hmm. So are you solar, wind? So we're we're solar. Okay. We have a, a 21 um, kilowatt backup battery. Wow. We have. That's the biggest thing. 19 solar. solar panels, I think. It's the no. storage. That, that was the tough part about solar. Is People liked it, but it's it's, still how do you store it? And if we invest, we're going to invest in more panels and more storage. Okay. Mm-hmm. okay. So we that, also ha- that's not ahead. enough to to run your whole house though for any length of time, is it? It is. Is it? Um, wow. Your 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 water pump? I mean, are you or are you on city water? We don't have city water. Uh, we okay. have so so. This is the basic infrastructure. Is um, we've got the solar panels and clearly the batteries. We have um, rain collection, which we hold about 3,600 gallons of so, rain so collection so okay. uh, water. We have a uh, wood, wood furnace slash boiler. You got the outdoor. Yeah, outdoor, yeah, yeah, outdoor yeah. wood yeah. burner, radiant heat, all water, you nice. know, heat. Um, mm-hmm. And we do have a well. 
Okay. So we have water in our well, um, which is great. <laughs> I, I, I know. I've, I've got to know. I have a few friends that have the outdoor furnace boilers. They yeah. love them. So we just got it. Okay. So we're still now. How big? How big is the wood that you throw in? It's. Okay. How big is the wood? Uh, two and a half feet long. Okay, because I know guys were throwing in five footers. footers. Yeah. Yeah, and that's like, "Ah, that's a lot. Mm -hmm. You know, and and really, my husband, Mike Kender, who owns Timberhawk Carpentry, um, and he is a finished carpenter, tree to trim, does Mm -hmm. all the, this is his, this is his vision. This is his baby. Baby. If you will. So he really should have been on the show talking about it, um, because he knows all the technical terms. And I could probably show you know talk about some technical terms, but they probably won't be right. But but you, had, <laughs> but you had said part of the process was you had to figure out how much power each thing was using. You said even your coffee pot was oh you my know, god cont- yeah. controversial so whether you're going to have one or not. Anything with a heat um, a heat element yep. in it yep. uses so much energy. So the the coffee maker is more energy um, than the washer and, and dryer. You know, wow. so the dryer is yeah. on propane. So which one do you keep? The coffee. Coffee. Yeah. Yeah. Hello. Hello. There's a no-brainer. So we're going to invest in a French press. So basically, mm-hmm. we could, if it's sunny, we could, we could mm-hmm. run um, the house for the full day, and through the night. But if we don't get sun the next day, mm-hmm. we need to get energy, Got and it. so we have a fully integrated generator that runs on propane okay, that sure. will kick in okay. and and um and charge the batteries okay. within an hour and a half. So did you hours. build this this house new? So it was yes. never been on the grid. So it wasn't it's completely raw land built. Okay, wow. and so you saved X dollars by not having to connect to EverSource. We or? were going to be. It was probably going to be around twenty five thirty grand just to connect to the grid. Right, and it cost us about fifty ish grand to set up the solar. So we figure, you know, it would have been cheaper to go on the grid, but long term, we right. just we just were like, well, we're halfway there. When we, if we mm-hmm. connect it to the grid, so let's just go for it. Mm-hmm. So you're like a 21st century hippie. Uh, I guess so. Okay, well, <laughs> not a bad so. thing. That's fine. It's not a bad thing. No, it's so, not a bad thing at all. I'm so which one hugger. of you watched Gilligan's it. Island? <sighs> me. Yeah, yeah say there. Yeah, me too. Yeah, yeah I'm there. <laughs> yeah. Uh, David yeah. Brooks also in the house. Um, and love, love your column, by the way. Well, somebody has to. Well, I, I guess it's me. <laughs> I'm not paying you for it, but no. I love it. Uh, he's written a science tech column since 1991, keeping an eye on topics of geekish interest in. And around New Hampshire, from software to uh, sea level rise, population dynamics to 3D, uh, you can rummage through his bag of awards, and you'll find oddities like uh, three best blog prizes from the New Hampshire Press Association, Writer of the Year award from the New Hampshire Farm and Forest Bureau, and uh, you join the Monitor back Concord Monitor back in 2015. And as a credentialed outdoor writer, I love seeing your stuff. Good. Well, I really do. I enjoy doing it. The Monitor's been been very good to me. I was with the National Telegraph for 28 years and uh, moved up here. Were you Uh, you there when Breen was there? Yep. Yeah, John. Yeah. Not not for long. He was there for about a year. Yeah. I I knew John. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice guy. Yeah, definitely. Um, No, you you have a a, a twist that I like. Um, It just, it comes across well as opposed to just... Um, stale writing. It's just, I need to do a column. Boom. Yours has well, a Well, nice... I need to do a column. Boom is frequently the conversation I have with myself. Yes, but anyway. But, yeah. Uh, yeah. But so, that's the process that's good, you go through. That's good. Right. Now, are you off, off the grid? I am not off the grid. Um, so I have solar panels. Fairly recently, I just put them on a couple months ago. Okay. Um, now, why? I've been... What was, a, what was the impetus to finally say, I want to do this? Well, I've been talking about it for a while. Uh, I'll be perfectly honest. The impetus is climate change. Let's be honest. Um, I mean, I am of an age that I probably, I may not get my investment back. So we put solar panels on your house, depending on how much you spend. So uh, I, I live down in Hillsborough County, and there's a program down there where there's a whole bunch of volunteers that will go around and basically help you put them on. Oh. And they'll they'll buy the panels in groups so it's cheaper, and it's like a barn raising. Oh, okay. And I know a friend who's put his panels on his house he, and uh, about the same about the same amount as you had, and he expects a two-and-a-half-year payback. Uh, in other words, he will save enough on electricity wow. in just two-and-a-half years. But that's because he did half the work himself, and I'm not climbing up on the roof and all that. So my, <laughs> my payback probably seven or eight years. I may I may not even be in the house in seven eight years. What are you forty five, forty nine? Uh that was very nice of okay, you. I'll give okay. you the money afterwards. Welcome uh, to the show. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm getting all the uh, AARP and yeah, Medicaid yeah. Uh, mail. <laughs> yeah, I but know. they start that at fifty. <laughs> so I mean, yeah. That's not a big deal. No, no. I hear solar panels. I'm not hearing wind. 
I'm oh, not, no. uh, wind, uh, wind doesn't uh, work. It doesn't. Small your, wind does not work. It does not work. It doesn't. Does not work. Because um, I always see it advertised that I can have it at my house. No, you know. no. Um, so um, unfortunately, and so I've been writing about this stuff for you know I'm yeah. in business forty years, and I was writing about it back when it was really early and only the, the ultimate crunchy granola people living way up in the hills of you know Temple and Wilton <laughs> were, were off the grid, and mm-hmm. you know they had their house made out of straw bales and that kind of stuff. Yeah. Um, and every single story That's was sarcasm, right? Not in okay. no, no, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. I've known people who have Okay, it's, it's, it's a very, it's a perfectly legitimate construction totally. technique yeah. actually. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Really yeah. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, um so it, and it, what has been exciting is seeing it become uh sort of not quite routine, but almost routine, mainstream. So I mean, I got my solar panels from Revision Energy, which is a, a New Hampshire company, um partly because I they happen to have met one of the co-owners at a like a solar conference in Wilton, that kind of thing. We mm-hmm. just sort of wanted per- percentage, either of you, mm. percentage of people in New Hampshire that, that are off the that are, that are either off the, off grid, the grid or yeah. have solar. Oh, less than one percent. I would imagine it's still that low. Little, less than actually, a I met a person in the shop the other day that is off grid too. Which this you, very you had the rare. off grid aura, and they we were like, it. "Oh, off grid." So, is there but, a secret handshake? <laughs> <laughs> so, we're making at, at only one we're percent. You can't really say oh, necessarily. It's not even one percent. If, if, if so, there's not even one percent. Wow. You can't even it's say like, there's a trend in that direction with such low numbers. It's so, or because it, I think for people, uh, there, there's a lot that has to be done in order to do that. Yeah. You know, this was a this was a year and a half and long endeavor for my husband and I and oh, my family. I mean, we camped for. So you can't just go home today and, hey, get a panel, slap it on this weekend, and whoa, no, I mean, it doesn't work that the way. The solar piece was the hardest piece because, personally, I think that there's not the banks, you know, there's banks out there that will do financing, but it's so new still mm-hmm. yeah. that everybody's all over the place. And mm-hmm. we had a solar company set up, and then they dropped us because the batteries that they were using weren't good. Yeah. So then they had to drop those and say, well, well, we can't do it for you. So you'll have to find another company. So we were scrambling wow. to find another company, and then the financing all changed. So really, it isn't easy. It's not an easy endeavor to do off-grid it just isn't. Almost all the off-grid that I know of are people who built a house or bought a house way in the woods, and they right. they don't want to spend the, the big bucks to connect. Right. And so that gives them the financial push to do it. I mean, there's, you know, nobody living downtown Concord or anywhere right. in Concord is going to say, tomorrow I'm going to go off-grid. Oh, off-grid. It's, yeah. it's worth it for me because it no, is it not isn't because you've it. got all the infrastructure but see, right there at your For me, the first step, it's got to be a generator. You have to have a generator yeah, out here. Sure. You, you, you have to. Uh, to you know, me, this isn't Colorado. No. Right. You know, no. and Colorado solar works great. In New Hampshire, you know, not so much. See, no. I've got wood so stove. Generator has um, wood stove generator. So it's like, okay, I can stay warm and I have propane so I can still cook on the stove in mm-hmm. the kitchen. Mm-hmm. It's like, yay. Yeah. So the discomfort level, not that bad. And the, and the carbon footprint, let's be real, is probably just about the same. I mean, right now for us, yep. as we shift more toward wood heat, our carbon footprint will reduce. Right. But for right now, we're still we're still burning propane. It's not mm-hmm. like the fossil oh. fuel and and all the fossil fuels that go into making these products yep. too. Right. Yep. So we can't we can't we didn't do it to reduce our carbon footprint right away necessarily, but we did it for for freedom of energy. Yeah. Right. And, really and, and for the, the long term. Number one. And for the long term. And for the long yeah. term, and not to be. Um, connected to the grid and have to deal with the outages and all that, right. that we were just, we were screwed mm-hmm. every time when yeah. the power went out. Uh, wood stove, David? You? Yeah, well, I, I've, so I have a, uh, a pellet stove, okay. um, which, of course, doesn't work when the power's out. Right, right. right. right which is insane. Yeah, but, which, <laughs> but yeah, pellet stoves uh, which, are awesome. I mean, they are. They are, they're but, they're and, uh, That's what I hear, but if... But we I also lose have power. A, I can't break up my living room furniture and throw it in. No, you right. say I, I also it's have insane. a wood stove in the basement that I can okay, so that the pipes won't freeze. So that that's that's the fallback. But the yeah. the pellet stove is the day to day back. But I also have oil heat also as well because parts of the house the pellet stove doesn't really get to. So mm-hmm. you know I'm, I'm it's yeah. still it's still it's still a long way. You know it's an old house was built. Not that old, but it was, you know, built by a guy and his uncle, and so you know uh, they sort of did things. In the New Hampshire way. So, so what's yeah. what's holding? Think we we're going to have to take a break in a minute. Uh, but what's holding up the the um, the march forward past one percent to get people? The markets. It's the to market. get people saying, market. "I want to do this." 
You, m- you mean off grid or to, just to, uh, starting with generators, starting with solar panels, starting with batteries? You know, starting to they, they probably can't do it. One flip of a switch, I'm done. People can't do that. But to work their way in. What's it going to take? Is it cost? Is it availability? What is it? I think it's cost. I think it's markets. I think that there, you know, there's there's not maybe enough investment in these companies. I mean, we could get into a political conversation in terms of um, technology and how that's maybe subverted due to the oil and gas industry. We could do. We could go down that road. I don't. Really oh, you're want one of those. To. Huh? Okay. And I don't want to go down that road. I would love it if if companies would just. Invest in this stuff, but it's but, not as but easy. David, you said, you know, break even for some gentlemen was only 2.3 years. Right. That's, that's, that was, that's an extreme case. Well, that's yeah. Yeah. But yeah. to even hear that is encouraging that because is. I've always heard it's like 10 years right. and, you know, getting down to now eight is more, is, is close now. And I think that's the, the cost of the, um, solar is, is, is going down and the battery's ability to, you know, retain the power right. is going I, I do, I do not have a battery. Batteries are still quite expensive. If I'd added a battery, then my payback period would be uh, battery, much further. When you say expensive, what are we talking? Oh, I don't know. Oh my God. I 12 wish grand, I, something like at that. At least. I mean, really? Oh, oh, really? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, the batteries okay. were more, more than half. Three quarters of the cost of this. Oh, okay. Solar. And New Hampshire does not have uh, things like time of day pricing that would. Well, we are off, for those of us who are not off grid. The the financial incentive for a battery is you can use it to shift your power load to different times of day. And if there's time of day pricing, you can get cheaper electricity. Oh. And so you you can get a payback, an indirect payback that way. New Hampshire doesn't do that, oh. so you do, you can't get that payback. So are you, there tax you, credits? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And that's what I want to say, okay. too, is the rebates. There's tax and there are. There, um, uh, state and federal rebates. Yeah. 20 cents a watt up to a thousand bucks. There's recs. You can sell your recs, which aren't re- renewable energy credits, but that's not worth much. Uh, 30 percent state uh, is going down to 25 percent next year, which is one of the reasons it took me a while to get my panels on because everybody's scrambling to get them on this Got year it. before it goes the down. So right. they didn't have enough sta- didn't have enough workers to put it on. So as there are as some incentives yes. going on on the government level. But there's still not the investment going on in the the technological piece, I mm-hmm. believe. Yeah. So we have to take a break. We'll be back with Gregory James, Sarah Woods, and <laughs> just Dave. <laughs> I hate it, Greg. You always have great topics, and we run out of time. Yes. Uh, wow. I know. Yeah, uh, but it was before, a good discussion during the break, too, that uh, it, I wish we did have more time. Yeah, uh-huh. Well, just get David and Sarah to come back. Yep. Um, what's happening um, again at the co-op? Uh, I just wanted to remind about Rounded Up at the Register. This month, it is uh, Pope Memorial SPCA. Yep, um, awesome. They uh, Customers have already rounded up. They have 3,400 already. Wow. Um, and so wow. it should be a record-breaking month. Uh, oh. With 10 days left in the month, so That's great. come on into the co-op and say, round it up when you're cashing out. And who's next month? Uh, NAMI. Uh, NAMI, right. New Hampshire. That's right. National uh, Alliance of the Mental For Mental Health. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow, wow, wow. All right, Sarah. Um, Yo. Um, is this a busy uh, busy time of year for you, winter, for Reiki uh, and that kind of stuff? Yeah, I mean, I stay pretty busy all year. But, yeah. but I'm just summer is busier, but is it? I stay. I mean, I have a lot of local people that know me and come yeah. to the shop. So. Yeah. I just didn't know if people had more free time on their hands in the winter so they could. Well, so, are you know, a lot of people coming in for cold remedies? Like I was asking I you about that. Yeah. So I, the deep forest immunity is one of my best sellers because it keeps you from getting sick and it helps you reduce the length of time you're sick. That's awesome. Um, shop local. I have lots of really awesome um, gifty items too, gift certificates. Jewelry, Perfect. handmade from local people, local. Uh, yeah, <laughs> and stop in if you haven't. There you go. Hello. Um, David, uh, where do you get your impetus for your columns? Uh, desperation. Uh, <laughs> deadlines. Deadlines. <laughs> deadlines. You, always, you, deadlines work in radio, too. You a yeah, deadline no. junkie? Well, yeah, definitely. Yeah. I mean, t- you know, 40 works. years in daily newspapers. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. So yeah. we, we are too. It's like, hey, you're on the air in 30 seconds. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Whatever. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Fine, we'll do something. Are you yeah. ready? Gonna be. But yeah. the, not everybody can do that. Yeah. They're panicking five minutes out. Yeah. Okay, no. that do, that doesn't work. No, um, keep doing the... Uh, um, the the uh, Granny Geek column and well, the... Well, uh, yeah, but, but, you know, people think... <laughs> then they read it going, oh, yeah. 
so when they take away the puffed up stuff, they look at it going, I always wondered about that. Wow, that's great. And you do, and, and I, I apologize for using it, but you dumb it down. So thank you. Okay. I appreciate that. Um, no problem. Dumbing <laughs> dumbing is what I do best. <laughs> <laughs> you were my hero. David Brooks, Sarah Woods Kender, and Gregory James. I'm Now I'm just hooked on this. I like it. Right. <laughs> uh, Greg at the Concord Food Co-op. Um, Concord Food Co-op. Dot co-op. Dot if you're in the mood for real food, it's Concord Food Co-op.